Well, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, a, to be in the presence of all of this great knowledge, uh, many of which I've, I've known since I was, uh, you know, six, seven, eight years old. Um, and it's great to see uh, those same people, you know, 35 years later, still uh, in the school and on the mat and still, uh, you know, sharing their wisdom and knowledge. When I was a little kid, younger than a lot of you here today, you know, these were the people that I looked up to, and uh, they were sharing their knowledge then. And now all of this time has gone by, and they continue to do so, and that's an amazing thing. Uh, Bruce Lee, uh, I mean, he's pretty much, you know, my uh, total inspiration for my life. You know, when I was a kid, uh, my father was a martial artist and trained, so I, I, I would watch my dad and. And that was, you know, his lifestyle every day, training and competition and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it was the guy that was uh, on the movies and uh, on the TV screen that really just really excited me as a young kid, you know? And uh, when I was a young kid, I just wanted to be like you sleep. I mean, that was really what it was, um, like many people. Um, and because of my father, uh, I felt like I had an opportunity to actually try to do it. I was like, oh my God, I'm getting to train martial arts every day and, uh, and I, I can be like my hero, Bruce Lee. And he really set the dream in my head to be able to make it to films and television. That would have never happened if Bruce Lee wasn't Bruce Lee because he inspired me at like seven years old. I knew, hey, I want to do that. I want to be like that guy. And I worked really hard as a kid to uh, make that happen. And first in my martial arts, and then after trying to break into the industry, uh, being from Northern California and, and trying to make that happen, and everything that I've been able to do, films, television, everything is because of the martial arts. and. The martial arts also inspired by Bruce Lee. He gave me my dream, literally. And now, at 44 years old, he's still an inspiration to me because it still pushes me to strive to get to a place that I've never gotten to yet. And you know, one thing that I realized more recently, uh, having some health issues and, and things like that is, is that, you know what? Somebody sets the bar so high and the standard of excellence so high that uh, like uh, Mr. Norton was saying is it pushes you to become your best. And whether I ever achieve in my mind or well, this kind of success or to the level of Bruce Lee, which I as I get older I realize, man, that was you know, that's a crazy dream that you have as a kid to even think about getting to that kind of level. The one thing is I know whether I get there or whether I don't get there it was about the dream and the pursuit of that dream. That's what's fueled my life. I may never become Bruce Lee, but the dream to strive to that, whether I achieve that or I don't, has been inspired by that man and has given me literally an entire life. And I have kids who, whether they know it or not, are inspired by Bruce Lee because of how I am and the things that I've tried to accomplish. So for me to be here today sharing, just to be alive to be here sharing um, with you is a miracle. Um, and I have a tremendous amount of gratitude for Bruce Lee uh, in my life. When uh, Mr. Farquhar started telling me about the events and started you know, kind of asking me like, well, have you ever done anything? Like, not really, other than just try to uh, be the best fan that I can be. And here was an opportunity for me to be part of something and give back. You know, you never know how long you're going to be here on this planet. And life can be very fragile. You can come and go, just like that. Uh, but, you know, your legacy lives on and Bruce Lee has lived on in my heart from the time that I was a little boy all the way till now. And uh, even facing challenges, life challenges, that kidney failure about a year and a half ago, and uh, Bruce Lee still inspired me as I was climbing back out of the, the, the hole that you, you know, get thrown into when you get news about, hey, you know, you're, 
uh, failing, your health is failing, something's happened to you. It's like, how do you face those challenges? Guess what, kids? You're all gonna be faced with challenges in life. Right now, it's all fun, and it's happy, and it's a good time, and that's a great time. Enjoy that. But real life, when you get into it, you're gonna have some challenge. You're gonna have some setback. It's guaranteed, no matter what it is. It could be career, relationship, finances, anything. You're gonna get a setback. You're gonna get something that challenges you and pushes you to your very limit. And then it's how you respond to that life's challenge. And Bruce Lee, you know, had his famous, uh, and, and his famous quotes. I mean, there's so many to go on and on. But I did find myself in my darkest moments, in my most challenging moments in time, looking to people that still continue to inspire me. I had to change. I had to walk on. I had to, to know no limitations. I had to do all these things that when my back got pushed up against the wall, I still went to the people that continued to inspire me. And Bruce Lee continues to inspire me today. So being here amongst all these great people, amongst all these kids and the future generations is a complete honor for me. So thank you for having me.